What's going on, my fellow collectors? I'm back again, back again with another video, and I'm staying alive. I'm staying alive. Huh? 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 Staying alive. Huh? Yes, guys, I'm staying alive, and I'm up on the Ultimate Collectors channel. This is going to be my new home for a while. Uh, Muggy 215's channel is basically just on ice. So, um,. I'll be doing videos on here, and today I have a new video that I want to bring to you guys. This video was inspired by a comment that I had got from a collector asking me, in my honest opinion, do I really think the 89 Batman is better? I mean, do I really think the DX-12 is better than the 89 Batman? <sighs> and I thought it was a legit question to ask. So... I'm going to try to figure that out with this video, guys. And uh, as you can see, I have both figures to be able to judge and see which is better. As you can see, the Dark Knight Rises. Then we have the 89 Batman. All right, boxes are both awesome. I do like the broken bat symbol and the rough texture in this DX box. But then over here, you have the classic steel type gray color and a faint picture of Michael Keaton as Batman. I like the vibrant yellow at the top, you know, from the colors that's in the bat suit. It's pretty cool. But I still Oh it's a fellow collector. Rick Bates. Let's answer that. Yo, what's up, dude? Hey. You're on a uh, camera. I was actually doing a video. <laughs> All right, boom. I'm doing, I'm doing a video for the Ultimate Collectors channel. All right, I've got my camera on. Yeah, I was actually trying to decide. I got a, I got a comment from my, uh, from one of the collectors, I guess, out there, and they asked me. What do I think is the best? They asked me, in my honest opinion, do I really think the 89 Batman is better than... No, do I really think the DX-12 is better than the 89 Batman? And I figured it's a legit question because, you know, people got their favorites. And uh, I was like, you know what, let me make a video about that. And, uh, you know, just compare the two and why I think. Because I think everybody knows I kind of think the uh, DX-12 is better. I mean, it. It. I got... I got Different levels of grails in the collection, Rick. And my thing now that I'm calling, there's the ultimate grail and there's the regular grail. The yeah. ultimate grail is the Iron Monger, you know, the, the, the DX-12 on top of the Bat Pod. You know, those are ultimate grails because, you know, that DX-12 on top of the Bat Pod, it just makes, it's, it's a complete set. You know what I mean? So that would be an ultimate grail. But then you have your regular grails, which would be maybe like the Terminator DX-10 and, you know, the DX-12 by itself, you know, the 89 Batman. Those are just regular grails. So, See, to me, my opinion on it is I don't think, I don't think a grail figure is particularly the best figure that's out there. I think a grail figure of any level is something that's got sentimental value to you. Now, for example, for me... Iron Man 1 was a good film, but it's not an all-time classic, so therefore, no figure from that film could be a grail to me. That's that's the way I always look at it. I think for it to be a grail, um, for it to be a grail, it would have, like I've said before, for me, it would be Muhammad Ali, be, simply because I watched his fates and read his books and that for fucking 25 years, so... Like I said, and that figure could come out and be shit, but it'd still be a grail figure for me. And I can definitely understand where you're coming from because that's how I feel about the Iron Man figures. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I always loved Iron Man as a kid. You know what I mean? Like, from the comic books, 
to like, and I'm a big like armored suits suits buff. So, you know, when you get a one six figure that's made into a you know an armored suit or something like that, it's automatically really a grail to me. You know what I mean? And and, and that's why I call the Iron Monger a ultimate grail because it's like just the cream of the crop. You know what I mean? So, but I hear you on that. You know that uh. Ali, because I kind of feel the same way about the Iron Man figures, you know what I mean? So, yeah. And on going back to the Batman, for me, I think it all comes down to which film you prefer most, because I think both are awesome figures. I personally think the 89 one looks better if it were like a statue kind of thing, but the DX-12 is an all-round better figure, so you can do more with it. But like I said, if if you're trying to tell that to a Tim Burton fan, he's going to argue with you all day. But you tell that to a Chris Nolan fan, and he's going to argue other way all day. So it just comes down to, I think, which film you prefer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Definitely at the end of the day. I mean, and I think a lot of people that, that you know, they remember that 89 Batman as, you know, watching that in the, as in the movies when they were a kid and, you know yeah. what I mean? And stuff like that. And um, I'm one of them people that seen the movie back in the day when I was a kid. Uh, well, was I a teenager? <laughs> 89? Uh, no, I was a kid. Yeah, I was about 12 or something like that, I guess. But, uh, <laughs> but, uh, how, how old were you? 15. I was born in 74. Oh, okay. Well, damn, Rick. <laughs> Just put me out there because I was born in 73. So. <laughs> Yeah. So I guess I was 16 and I wasn't really that much of a kid. I was a teenager. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but but uh, finding out your real age now, Morris. I know, right? <laughs> but no. yeah, yeah, I, I hear you on that one, though, man. Definitely. But yeah, yeah, let me let me cut this video, you know, so we can talk about what we wanted to talk about anyway. All right. So hold on for a second. If, if you want, if you want to leave your video rolling and finish it off properly, then give me a call back when you've finished it. I, that's all right with me, because I'm in all day now. Okay, cool. All right, that's what's up. We'll do that. Right, I'll talk to you soon. All right, later. Later. Yeah, collectors, that was Rick, and it actually had a lot to do with this video, you know, the conversation we just had, but, you know, a little surprise call from our fellow Clipper King in the community out there. You know, he's definitely up on the Ultimate Collector's channel. And, um, you know, it's, <laughs> you hear it right there from Rick himself, you know, awesome opinions and what he had to say. Um, so let me just jump back into this video. I don't even know where I left off. I think I was talking about boxes. But, uh, yeah, so here's the accessories. Hands down, as you can see, the DX12 comes with much more. I mean, don't get me wrong. Uh, you know, the 89 Batman has some cool accessories, but you just get much, much more. And by me uh, digging this Dark Knight Rises a lot, you know, I'm pretty happy to get, you know, the, the amount of accessories that we get. So that's awesome. I mean, you even get an extra utility belt, extra, you know, head scope. You know, you get the mouthpieces and gloves, weapons for days. He gets three guns. You know, so what more can you ask for? Whereas the 89 Batman, he just gets what you see. And, you know, a few extras that's on him already. Like the uh, gauntlet. The grappling gun gauntlet. So, cool accessories, but 89, don't mess with the DX-12. Sorry. <laughs> so, let's jump into the figures real quick. Uh, I'm going to make this... Video. I'm not going to make it too long. I'm going to keep it about 15 minutes. So here you have it. Here you have both of the grails right here. And remember what I said earlier in my conversation. You got ultimate grails and you have the one and only type grails. Just regular standard grails. And uh, I got to say, guys, I I'm, I'm going to tell you right from the door, the 89 Batman is a beautiful figure. I really do like it. It's a grail. And, you know, the suit is banging. Uh, you know, I love the boots. I really, really wasn't too keen on the Nike sneakers. <laughs> Maybe because I owned a pair of these bad boys. and I just never imagined Batman wearing sneakers for his costume. So... I never really did like that, 
just to put that out there. But hey, you know, it was uh, Tim Burton's idea of what the boots should look like. I guess he wanted to get that urban type feel, urban like dark hero type feel. But uh, the suit is pretty cool. I love the rubber. It's like a dust-free type rubber. Uh, the armored sculpting chest area is pretty awesome. The the classic bat symbol. The cowl is amazing. I love the sculpting of the ears. And, you know, that thick neck. But, you know, because of that thick neck. Let me turn this TV off. Because I don't want that to be distracting you guys out there. Uh, let me turn that off. There we go. Um, yeah, so the neck, it's all banging. This is all beautiful stuff here. Uh, we got the, the grappling gun, which is cool. The grappling gauntlet, I should say. That goes around the fist. And, uh, the leather cape, I like it. You know, it's hard to pose, but, you know, I just kind of did what I can do real quick. I didn't really try to sit down and try to manipulate the materials of the cape, but I like the leather. I like the leather cape and how it bunches around the shoulders. But then we have the DX-12, guys, the Dark Knight Rises. Now, like I just said, I'm a guy of uh, that loves his techie suits and stuff, and the DX-12 definitely has that techie look going on with the armor and then the underneath material that, that you see underneath of there. Uh... The utility belt just really shines. I love the broken, uh, not the broken, but the individual, you know, uh, links this time around. This hugs the body a little better, you know, than the old one. Uh, look at that gun. The sticky bomb gun is just superb. Let me see if I can focus a little better. Look at that right there. Um, you know, you get articulation this time around in the neck area. You know, better articulation all around on this figure. Uh, I love the gauntlets. You know, these gauntlets are thorough over here, but they just have more of a classic type of look going on. Let's see if I can show you a little bit better. You know, they're they're thorough. I love the gauntlets, but they just don't mess with these right here. These gauntlets look like they will really hurt you. <laughs> They look like they would really hurt you if he got these things around your neck or sliced through your neck, your body, whatever. These things are vicious. Especially they shoot out. Oh my gosh. Then the protective armor. It's just, I like the protective armor. The suit up in the rib area. And then let's just look at the back of the suits. Oh, and not to forget the shoulder padding. All around better suit in my eyes. It's just my opinion, guys. At the end of the day, we all have our favorites in our collection. And I would say that this Batman beats out the 89 Batman. Look at that. Wow. Look at the spine of the, uh, you know, the exoskeleton of this suit. It just really looks like this suit will protect him very well compared to this suit over here. Look at the back of the suit. Look at the, uh, oh, 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 don't fall, don't fall. Bend him up a little bit, all right. The back of the suit, I mean, the, just the the armor that goes into the spine. As you can see, amazing figure, guys, all the way. And if I had to pick, guys, I mean, look at the gun right here. He comes with so much weapons and cool-looking weapons. I mean, his weapons are just amazing that he comes with. I mean, how can you not go with the the DX-12, the Dark Knight? I mean, yes, Tim Burton's vision of Batman was a cool version, but let's step into the, the future. This is the future of Batman right here. More man maneuverable suit, you know. Just definitely one of them pieces that you should have. And if you had to pick one, I would say go with this bad boy right here. But again, this is just one's opinion, just my opinion. That's not a takeaway from this figure. I mean, I would say definitely get them both if you got the money. Because <laughs> this is a classic Batman right here. You know, but, um, you know, if I had to choose and if I didn't have the money for both, I would be, I think I would be happy with this guy. So this has been another video, guys. Thanks for watching, and thanks for Rick letting me put him on the camera. All right, Moogie215 signing out. Peace.